Well, welcome to Alpha Military TV. Thanks very much for tuning in once again and seeing what we're up to. My name is Richard Saunders. I'm joined by a special guest of the channel, uh, Tony Bilas from uh, from Daystate. Hello, Hello Tony. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Lovely to be on your range. Yeah. <laughs> so Tony has brought down uh, a brand new launch today rifle um, from Daystate, and I'm going to let Tony talk through this, and then I'm going to pinch it off of him and have a bit of a shoot with it myself. So Tony, tell us about this rifle. Well, this is the Huntsman Revere, which came out in 2020, but we've added a Safari edition. So this is the Safari stock that we used in both other day states and the range where we use this special textured wooden stock. Mm. It has a very grippy finish to it. It's all wood, and then they stain it down uh, by hand, by hand oh, okay. with this uh, dark brown finish. And this is Minelli as well? Minelli stock, yes. It's exclusive to Day State, which we also use in Brokaw. Mm -hmm. We've uh, taken the opportunity to upgrade some of the features. For instance, the first time, probably in 20 years, you have a Huntsman which is ambidextrous. Truly ambidextrous. Uh, truly ambidextrous, and of course the side lever can be moved uh, by the shooter from left oh, to okay. right side. Uh -huh. It has an adjustable cheek piece, which is useful for getting the head right with different size scopes, which is mm -hmm. much more prevalent 30 milliscopes today than it was yeah. when the Huntsman was invented. Yeah. And uh, it has all the other features, flat butt pad, a grippy front end, mm -hmm. slightly wider than the original Huntsman um, mm -hmm. stock, and it's slightly deeper as well. It's The action still drops into the stock, which mm -hmm. is one of the nice unique features of yeah. the Huntsman, but there's a channel built in now on the underside to allow you to fit a sling stud pretty much anywhere on the forearm, oh, okay. which was a, something you really couldn't do on yeah. the Huntsman because it was touching Yes. Tube. Yeah. Pressure gauge. It's a regulated action, Richard. So you've got a humor air regulator in there, mm. uh, which gives it quite a large shot count, probably about 150 shots in in two to 12 foot pounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And obviously, side lever action. It's regulated, you say as well. Regulated. Uh, all versions are regulated, and then, of course there is a high power version as well, mm -hmm. which will do 30 or 40 foot pounds depending on the model that you mm -hmm. order. Uh, and that that model is available in 17722 and 25. Right. While a 12 foot pound one is available in 17722. This is mm -hmm. actually a 177. Right, right. And so, so in terms of, of shot count, what can people expect in terms of shot count? As I said, about 150 for the cylinder and the magazine, this is a 177, so that has a 13 shot magazine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's also the 22 version will have 11 shots. And in the FAC, where you have a 25, there's a 10 shot magazine. Ten shot magazine. Right. The magazine is uh, enters from the right side mm -hmm. and is a gate load magazine using a, a, a Steve Lilly patent from yesteryear, right. originally known on right. the open. Day State has refined it slightly so that you don't have a front plate to rotate or perhaps oh, break. Okay. Right. You have a loading gate on the front, uh -huh. so you simply drop the front gate, rotate right. it round, put your first pellet in as a stock, and then uh -huh. you can load the remaining gotcha. 12 gotcha. chambers and pop it back in again. And in terms of price, what kind of price are we looking at for this? 1250 they're about £25 so more the... than the, the standard Revere, right. because of the adjustment cheek right. piece and other, right. and other detail. In the and presumably it's a, it's a tiny little bit heavier because of the, the cheek? Uh, it's ounces heavier, ounces and that's because of the, the stainless steel use in the cheek piece right. adjustment. Right. And the FAC version, same cylinder, same barrel? It's slightly or? locked, same barrel length, 17 inch barrel, which is shrouded. Mm -hmm. And this one has a um, half inch UNF, where they all have half inch UNF. Mm -hmm. and this one has a uh, zero DB on the end of it. Mm -hmm. um, but the firearms rated one, the cylinder is ever so slightly longer to give you a right. little bit more shots because of they're using yeah. a lot more air. Yeah. And, and the safety catch and the trigger? That's... Yep, two stage mechanical trigger, right. fully adjustable. The whole gun is mechanical. Right. And there's a safety catch on the back, and it's in the classic Day State Huntsman position, and it's a rotary safety catch on right. the back. Very easy to use. Right. And that's not ambidextrous, but it's easy to use yeah. in the left yeah. hand as well. And, and you say that the side lever is swappable from side to side? Yeah, it takes about six minutes. We put the instruction in the handbook. Okay, so it's not a factory thing. Not, a factory thing. not so... a factory thing. You can do it yourself. You can change oh, it good. over, perhaps for a family member, and change it back when right. you get the rifle yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. So you can have this, uh, a lot of left hand people like to cop left handed and I've got yeah. to say as a right hand shooter, I sometimes like to cop the rifle left handed, particularly if you're in yeah. a speed shoot, yeah. because it leaves your hand on the trigger yes. and yeah. allows you to operate the action yeah. Yeah, good fast. For the range. This yeah. is something you can now change over on yeah. this version yeah. yourself. And, and the, the adjustable cheek piece, that will go flat if you prefer it to be flat? Yes, you can retain the standard yeah. nice sleek looks of the gun or yeah. you can have it up if you've got perhaps a higher scope with high mounts, yeah. as we have here. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Tony. Now, I'm going to pinch this off of Tony and have a bit of a shoot with it. And then we'll also show you some of the, the details and close up. And we we'll go through the magazine system and the air filling system as well. But for now, Tony, thank you very much. Thank you, Richard. 
Cheers. So as Tony said, the magazine on the Revere Safari edition is the same as the Revere regular edition, to be perfectly honest. It's this new or newer day state self-indexing magazine, and it has this magnetic flap on the front and uh, takes 13 shots in 177 and 11 in 22. And to fill it, you, you've got to open that flap at the front and then rotate the inner chambers uh, clockwise if you don't it'll just spring back um, so just rotate that round clockwise as far as it will go and then put a pellet in the bottom most hole um, and that will then keep that chamber that um, central part uh, fixed in place then and then it's just a case of dropping the pellets in one at a time now one thing i have noticed with these newer day state magazines is that the pellets will some of the pellets will sort of drop right down to the bottom of the um, of the chambers. Some of them will sit on the top, and I think that's more to do with the uh, head size on the pellets. There, that one stayed at the top there uh, than it is the magazine. Now, what I now I have no idea. I don't think it makes much of a difference when it comes to consistency and accuracy. But what I do, I tend to do is I tend to with a, a pen or a twig or whatever. I just tend to push though all of those all the pellets down so they're seated right at the bottom of the chambers um, you can see those these three and those two there are sort of high up and the rest are low down in the uh, in the magazine anyway when you fill up all 13 shots simply close that gate and you're ready to load it into the breech so removing and inserting the magazine into the breech is very easy it's the same as on the uh, the regular Huntsman Revere. Uh, first of all, make sure your rifle is in safe so that when the magazine is inserted, you're in a safe mode. Pull back on this two-stage side lever to remove the magazine from the right-hand side. And then obviously you fill it with pellets. This one is empty. And then inserting it is very simple. It just goes in from the right-hand side and pushes in and then return the side lever. Now there's magnets inside the, um, the, the magazine here, which kind of draws it into the breech for you. And the magazine goes in from the right-hand side. And they say do that because some people like those oversized parallax adjustment wheels on the left of their scope. And if you have one of those, it could interfere with you putting the magazine in from the left-hand side. So they go in and out from the right. So filling is the same as with the, the regular rifle as well. Uh, on the front of the cylinder here, you have a rotating cap. And what you want to do is just rotate that round until you expose the uh, the fill port just up here and then take the probe which is supplied and just insert that into that hole there then obviously attach your line to the end of the of the probe and then give the rifle uh, which only recommends a 230 bar fill this rifle is rated to take a maximum fill of 250 but yeah 230 240 bar then once you've done that obviously bleed off the line from your bottle or your compressor or whatever remove the line take out the probe and then remember to just rotate that cap so that you're closing off the fill port so no dirt or muck or, or grit gets into the workings so now tony's gone i've kept the daystate huntsman revere safari edition with me 
Set a target out at 30 meters, and I am using Air Arms Diablo Field Pellets 177 4.52 size. So let's see how it shoots. That's all 13 shots, didn't look too bad from here. But let's go down and uh, take a closer look. Well, that's not a bad group at all. Um, one went a little bit right here, and I know exactly why that was. It's because I moved my head, my eye position on the scope, so that's my fault. But that's 12 pellets through, smaller, smaller than a, a thumbnail at 30 meters. Well, there you have it. That's our review of the Day State Huntsman Revere Safari Edition. Obviously, the Huntsman Revere has been out for quite some time, but there are some quite significant changes with this uh, new stock. Um, obviously, you have this different aesthetic, completely, completely different aesthetic. You have this roughened wood, uh, textured wood finish, which makes my rifle really, really grippy. Um, but it's also fully ambidextrous. The, the Revere, the Walnut Suck Revere, is not ambidextrous. Um, and you have this adjustable cheek piece, which means that you can obviously get the right um, eye position uh, for a scope. Other than that, you know, this rifle is just as good as the, the regular Day State Revere, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, superbly accurate, nice and light, really is a delight to shoot. The side lever is really, really slick. And in terms of pricing, Day State hasn't, I don't believe, released uh, pricing just yet. Uh, but it says that there will only be the smallest uh, premium to cover the cost, obviously, uh, for this additional adjustment back here on the stock. So it'll be very similar price to the regular Huntsman Revere. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And uh, don't forget to check out our website, alphamilitaria.com. Thanks for watching.